South Carolina is just a couple of days away and Joe Biden has gotten the big Congressman Clyburn endorsement that he was hoping for. So what does that mean going forward? Will he end up winning? Let's just go to a bit of, as weird as this is, I was on Chris Cuomo's show last <laughs> night and I was asked about sort of the stakes for Biden and for Bernie in South Carolina and here's a bit of what I said. Already looking amazing for Bernie Sanders. I have no doubt that if Biden wins, he's gonna have a great Saturday night. But what is Monday and Tuesday? What are those gonna look like? Looking to California, to Texas, across the map, the polls are looking great for Bernie Sanders. So it would be great for him to go four for four, and we should at least acknowledge that he pulled off a record three out of three for the last few decades. But Super Tuesday is coming up very soon. There's not a lot of time to transition from South Carolina to a but big that's investment exactly the across point. the entire country. That's exactly the point. You don't have but, time. But Chris, so Chris, what you Chris, need, Bakari, is you need, know. you need the win. Okay, the only thing that would be better is if someday I toss to me on CNN and in that appearance, I toss to me on TikTok. <laughs> but anyway, um, so the point I was trying to make largely was uh, everybody's hoping for one last burst of momentum. But what momentum can there be? You, you potentially win on Saturday and you have two full days before national contests. So it's a little bit of time to get money, sure. But then you have to actually spend that money. You have to set up advertising campaigns. You have to book all the, ad, you have to do all that stuff across so many states. I think a lot of people are banking on momentum that can't necessarily have the time it needs to have a big effect on Tuesday. Unless word gets around that Bernie Sanders won the first four contests or got mm -hmm. the popular vote in the first four contests. Mm -hmm. I know you're more skeptical of that potential outcome than I am, but look. Do you, do you all want to go on the record? Well, you want predictions? Well, what's your prediction? I don't know wins. What <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna say, like, ooh, I'm gonna be the villain. The yeah, that's fine. I'm, I'm, Wait, I'm so the, I'm the observer of this uh, bet. I'm the one who gets to. I'm the record keeper. Why, okay. why, do you, why do you think that Bernie's gonna win? Look, I, I South Carolina. I, I just I mean. think the odds are good. I, I would say 60% chance Joe Biden still wins, right? Mm -hmm. But. Mm -hmm. I want to make it interesting <laughs> and I want to be right if it turns out that way and uh -huh. I get to rub it in your face. This is the sort of betting <laughs> strategy that makes me want to play poker against you. I agree, I think he has a 60 or 70% chance to win and thus I think he's going to win. And I say that because we're gonna go through some of the polls. Um, but also, uh, look, I, I have read accounts from people that I trust that going back through the last through a few set, a cycles of South Carolina primaries, that one of the ways the polls tend to be inaccurate is that they tend to underestimate uh, older African American electoral uh, participation. And so for candidates who um, have that support, they will tend to outperform. And there are examples going back through multiple races. And if he is already up and there's a possibility that the polls could be biased against him in this case, I think there's a good chance that it'll win. But but Biden is also overrepresented in every poll. So, so then maybe it'll cancel out. It cancel out and then he's Biden up in the polls. But then they're tied in some polls, so we're not gonna know. I'm well, let me, know. let me, so you say they're tied in some polls. I have a graphic, so I'm gonna read my graphic. Oh, jeez. Okay, so Joe Biden has 35% support in the Clemson University poll released just days ahead of the contest. Tom Steyer is second at 17, so 35 down to Tom Steyer at 17, Bernie's at 13. Then Warren and Buttigieg at eight, Klobuchar at four. Now, there are other polls where they're much closer, and you never know. Wasn't, Bernie, didn't Brett say this was an outlier? Where was Biden on that? Yeah, but Brett's not on the panel, he can't say that. You don't have to say it for him. I am his spokesman. He's talking to me. <laughs> um, but anyway, look, I'm, I understand. Everybody wants to be enthused and excited and nobody wants like the brakes to be pumped. But I'm just saying, I don't think you need to be worried about the possibility. If you're a Bernie Sanders supporter, I'm saying as I am, that, that Biden might win. If Biden wins, that helps out Biden a little bit. It, by the way, it certainly hurts uh, Bloomberg who wants to position himself as the only, only alternative uh, to Bernie Sanders. And uh, Super Tuesday is coming up just a couple days later and it's looking great for Bernie Sanders. So um, I make the prediction because I think that's what the numbers are indicating. But it is not anything approaching the end of the world for Bernie Sanders. But it's like you brought the one outlier poll just because you knew we'd have this conversation. So you could point to this <laughs> poll that has Bernie Sanders in like an insurmountable hole when the other it's polls It's the most recent that. poll that I saw, that's why mm -hmm. I chose it. I guess okay. the question okay, then becomes where the, whoever- throw this at you. Okay, wait, hold on one yeah. sec. Okay, let's go to the real clear politics average of all of the polls. You're gonna see a chart, it's got a lot of lines. Biden is the green line, Bernie is the blue line. So you can see on average, Biden had been holding at between 35 and 30. And then recently, probably because of his multiple losses, he has dropped off. 
he has in a couple of different polls, you can see the different data points there, jumped back up. And while Bernie is still on average in second, there is a difference there, like a 10 point gap or an eight point gap. Yeah, so the question is whether whichever way it happens, like okay, say Biden wins and then Bernie ends up second, but it's close the way that Iowa was, right? Even that close, that's kind of, it's kind of when it's based off of the expectations because Biden has been has been waiting on South Carolina since Iowa. Oh my you god! Know? So uh, since last March, I think. <laughs> so, like this, this is one. Of, it's one of those situations where, and sorry for the third sports reference, but if you, if there's a must win, sometimes this is a must win. Mm -hmm. Like for Bernie Sanders, this is a. It'd be great if we won, and if we end up, a, a, you know, close second. We're still doing well. Yeah. This isn't a killer. This is a must win. So the pressure is more on who's expected yeah. to win here. And here's another sports reference <laughs> to kill John. Dysfunctional teams do dysfunctional things when you're a bad <laughs> franchise and you don't know how to manage your cap and you don't know how to manage your team. You usually can't come up big, mm -hmm. and Joe Biden's campaign does not know how to manage his team, and he has never won yeah. a primary in his entire it's life, and has run for president three times. Second place in Nevada was the highest he's ever done. But possibly to be exceeded on Saturday. And I will say that I believe that Super Tuesday is the battle of Minas Tirith. It's the last stand of man. But if you don't <laughs> win Helm's Deep, you don't get to Minas Tirith. So uh, South Carolina <laughs> is Helm's Deep, okay? And I think maybe in this analogy, Clyburn is Gandalf coming at the last moment to help him or something. Is Helm's Deep like a grocery store in South Carolina or something? <laughs> Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.